Before we get into the main topic, array adapters in this unit 5, I want to talk a little bit about uh, buttons and handling button events a little bit more. Um, we're going to look at three ways of handling button events uh, in the code. And we're going to look at a sample project that does those. So I just created this uh, Java project. It has uh, three different buttons on there. Um, and so the first one we've uh, displayed uh, and have on the on click method I've just typed in the, the button click method here um, now you can just in your main activity you can define this uh, button click um, so you can define a button click activity here and so here's button one click it just has to be a public void function some name and then it has one parameter a view and then we can do like here we're just uh, setting some text uh, that says button one has been clicked um, and then you can just select that here from the list now one thing you have to watch is that for some reason when you select this in the current version it puts main activity here you need to delete that for the button to work uh, you can also look in your XML code uh, for the button and under the button click activity uh, the on click it should just have button click one no main activity there uh, for that so that's one way of setting this up it's all done kind of in this XML file uh, tied to this button click. Um, now let's look at another way of doing things. There are times then in the second method where we we want to move this um, tie between the button click event uh, and the XML file all into the Java code. Uh, some uh, people really like to do this so that everything is in the Java code. So the first way of doing this is to just declare a special on click uh, button listener and then set up the on click listener to point to that um, so here um, right after our button one click we have uh, another button two click we have to declare that as a view on click listener a special type of method um, and then w again we're just updating this text view saying we click button two so again similar short method just like we did just a different format uh, and then in our code, we've got to uh, set that up as an on-click listener. So up in our code, we need to declare a button. So here I'm declaring a button to, I need to make sure I tie that into my resource. So I got to find view by ID so, because I'm going to manipulate that in my code. And then once I have that, I can say set on-click listener and point to this method down below. And that's why it has to have this certain signature. Uh, it has to ret return that uh, or yeah, be of that type. So that's one way, the second way. Now the third way is to do an inline uh, method for doing this. Uh, some people, again, don't want uh, all these methods uh, filling up the, the bottom of their file or, or their on-click method. Uh, this main activity on um, click method. So another way of doing this is so for button three, again we're declaring button three, we're tying button three our, to our view by this find view by ID. So now we can access button three in code. And then we're just saying button three dot set on click listener like we did up here. But rather than specify a code below, we're actually uh, creating an inline function here. So this code actually creates a short inline function to do that. Uh, kinda, and so this is a short uh, function or method right here to do that. So this uh, this is all we need to declare a button. So this, which, uh, what you often see, is just a short way of setting that up. Um, so those are your three ways of, of creating a button. All three of them will run this code to uh, will work. So uh, as you go through, you often see these different versions and examples. Um, we'll also be modifying doing our own uh, setups for a different uh, event handling so it's good to see how Java I mean how Android and Java do, do it uh, for buttons.